Welcome to the Cinematic S7200 video tutorial for text displays. The task is to create a project for the TD400C with one user menu and two alarms. The user menu displays the current value of the variable named value and describes the operation of the function keys. The variable named value will be increased by pressing F1, decreased by pressing F2 and reset by pressing F3. If the value is greater than 2, Alarm 0 will be displayed. If the value is less than negative 2, Alarm 1 will be displayed. In step 7 micro in the program code for the text display is generated with the aid of the text display wizard and is downloaded to the S7200 controller via the PCP PI cable. The communication between the controller and the text display is also via PPI. The task includes the four steps described below. Step 1. Configuring the text display wizard in Step 7 MicroWin. Open the text display wizard. Select the TD400C. Change the actions of the required function keys to momentary contact. Go to the configuration of the user menu. Assign a name for the menu. Add a screen. Label the menu screen according to the task. Insert PLC data to display the variable named value. Select the address for the data such as VW1000. Go to the configuration of the alarms. Select the full screen to display a single alarm. Define alarm 0. Insert the address VW1000 to display the variable named value. Assign a symbolic name for this alarm. Click the New Alarm button to create a new alarm, Alarm 1. Define Alarm 1 just like Alarm 0. Select the default start address VB0 for the memory allocation. For another desired start address you must adjust the text display settings. Finish the text display wizard. Step 2. Creating the program code. Call the control subroutine, generated by the text display wizard. On every scan and network one of the program block. Program the actions of the function keys in network 2. You find the corresponding bit addresses by right clicking and selecting the symbol. The value of the chosen data address VW1000 will be incremented by pressing F1, decremented by pressing F2 and reset by pressing F3. Program the alarm calls in network 3. You find the corresponding alarm addresses by right clicking and selecting the symbol. If the value of VW1000 is greater than 2, Alarm 0 will be activated. If it is less than minus 2, Alarm 1 will be activated. Step 3. Downloading the project to the PLC. Download the project. Stop the controller to transfer the project. Place the controller in run mode again. Step 4. Handling the TD400C. Increase the value of the variable named value by pressing F1. The blinking triangle with the exclamation mark signals an alarm is active. Go to the user menu selection by pressing the escape button. Press escape again to go to the main menu of the text display. The alarms will be displayed by pressing enter. Alarm 0 is displayed. Reset the variable named value by pressing F3. Now no alarms are active. 
Go back to the user menu by pressing Escape. Decrease the value of the variable name value by pressing F2. When the alarm is activated, press the Escape key twice followed by the Enter key to display the alarm. Alarm 1 is displayed. By resetting of the variable named value with F3, there are no longer any active alarms.